Welcome back, everyone. The 30th annual San Diego Latino Film Festival begins tonight. On Saturday, they're hosting a Latino food, beer, and tequila fest at the Westfield Mission Valley Mall. Chef Rosie O'Connor and Chef Jorge Fuentes are here to give us a go. little bit of a taste of what to expect. Good morning to both of you. Thanks morning. for being with us this morning. Thank you. Over the last 15 Happy minutes, we've just been talking about the smells that you guys have been bringing us. It smells amazing. So tell us, I mean, of course, the, the main event is going to be the film festival, but you two are cooking up something special for the people who are going to be attending, giving us a little bit of a taste of the culture, the food, the drinks I know people are excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Chef Rosie, let's start with you. Tell us uh, which restaurant you're with and, and what you're going to be bringing to uh, the event. Well, I'm with Provecho Grill, and we're based out of Mex uh, Menifee, California, and I will be judging. So, at Sabor Latino, uh -huh. we have over 16 chefs that are coming from La Baja, Sonora, all over California, and they're going to join us, and they're going to they're going to compete so there's six um, chefs mm -hmm. judges and we'll be judging their food that's so exciting yeah. hey, you already have cooked something up for us tell us what this dish is that you've been preparing this is a pollo en hogado and it's inspired from the uh, state of Puebla and it has a little bit of almond cream sauce with some Brussels sprouts and some summer squash and I stuffed it with a little bit of the mission figs wrapped up in menonita cheese and some uh, pasilla peppers is that, is that yes. bacon wrap too? Yes, it is. Oh, it's so good. Right, you can never go wrong with bacon. <laughs> I was going to say, right? It always adds to a dish. Uh, yeah. Chef Jorge, you've been bringing out the uh, the fish, right? Yep. We're on the seafood train. Okay. So I'm, um, I own seafood trucks here in San Diego. Cool. Mariscos Herman Bayer. Uh, I've been on the Latino Film Festival forever and ever. Yeah, 30th <laughs> annual, right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm actually doing the opening, the closing, and awesome. Sabor Latino. This is one of the dishes will be served on either or the three events. So it's a uh, fresh oyster with aji and uh, chimichurri agua chile. A little bit on the spicy sauce. It's got mm -hmm. some ch chilte pinas on, on. And Chef Rosie and I, we're part of Chef Latino, so yeah. that's us too. And we would like you to invite you and for yeah. you guys to come and enjoy any of the three events. We know, you know a lot of people are going to be out there to watch Absolutely. all the films. And then, of course, yeah, everyone gets hungry, right, yeah. while they're enjoying the movies. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what it means to be able to bring your own flavor, your own uh, touch of, of culture to this event? Well, it's very special to us because we get to share what, uh, part of our culture of Mexico and we get to share it. So it, for chefs, this is our way we express our, yeah. our love. Right. So this is at least my language of love. And I'm on the great side because on the other side, I get to taste everybody's little bit. <laughs> there you go, you get to judge, right? <laughs> so I get to judge, so I'm on the other side and well, he'll be, you'll be cooking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about your, your business. Where do you guys get your fish from? How did, how did it come to be? Um, I've been in the trade for food trucks for 17 years. Wow. And I'm okay. in the chef too. So we're one of the pioneers on station um, food trucks here in San Diego. We've been, we've been happy to have a lot of awards and been on many other food channels. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, my fish and everything comes, oysters come from the Baja. We get, you know, sea, uh, smoked tunas from like down south. I mean, we get fish from here. Right. We try to, I mean, everything is high quality and fresh for us to work with seafood. Uh, Locally sourced. I love how this is kind of an opportunity for people to get a little bit of a taste of everything. There's going to be some alcohol present mm -hmm. too, right? Yes. Some tequila tasters. Yeah. Tell us about that. Local breweries like Border X is going to be involved. Uh, we have some mezcal companies mm -hmm. that are coming by. So there's a lot of support with local breweries in town. We have some of the info here on the screen too. Mm -hmm. What is Sabor Latino? Tell us about it because you guys do more than just the San Diego Film Festival. Uh, tell us about the, the whole group. So, I mean, Sabor Latino is the, group, the event inside the San Diego Latino right. Film Festival. This year we're featuring more of the chef Latinos. That's mm -hmm. us that we travel around the globe or any Latin American. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So any, any Hispanic or Latin chef can be joined by us and do all of our events. So we have chefs from Mexico, we have chefs in Spain, right. and all well, over Colombia. Dubai. So that Dubai, that we join together and we have a camaraderie. So it's a very special organization to be a chef Latino and be together and united and share ideas and how to survive, especially during the times of pandemic that got, this, that got us through. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, I imagine the last couple of years oh, yeah. it's been just kind of trying to rebuild mm -hmm. and, and get the momentum going again. Uh, you said you've been a part of this for years now, right? Of the San Diego the Film Festival? San Diego Film Festival, yes. Yeah. So what's it been like over the last couple of years? Tell it's, us the experience. It's a fun event. It's yeah. a really, really, really fun event. I mean, 
I'm, I always have to be involved. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? No. It, the last year was the only th year I couldn't do it, but every other year I've been doing it. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm one of the ones that are doing the opening tonight mm -hmm. and the closing. Yeah, that's right. 18. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there too, participating with that, and then Sabor Latino. So we're involved in anything that we can do. And it's going to be a Latino weekend festival. full of oh, events, absolutely. right? Oh, absolutely. Well, you have music. <laughs> wow, you 10 have, days. Yeah. yeah, you have music, you have the arts, you have the film, and it's exciting, and you have drink, tequila, beer. So I'm going to try of one of these. Yes, you can. Okay, a little, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take a little bite of it because it looks so good. So tell us again what this dish is. So is this going to be available for people at the film festival? Or is no, this it's available at my restaurant. From okay, there we go. So t <laughs> there we go. So tell us about how it relates to, to what people are going to be bringing out. So this is uh, this was inspired by Puebla. So there's a lot of inspiration um, within our you know within our culture, and but it was inspired through Puebla through the Chile Nogado, which is the Chile Nogado you usually like celebrated during the you know festivities. But I took that concept and put the Chile Rano inside chicken breast and wrapped it with bacon and have the mm. almond sauce on the side. That is so delicious. Thank, Thank you. you both for being with Thank us this morning. Thank we you. appreciate Thank you. you. Thank More you. info on our website. We'll be right back after this.